Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about select multiple components. Let's start by create a cube and add subdivisions to let's say 10. Double click on select tools and let's see what marquee does. Let's turn off our grid. So marquee basically is you can by marquee selection you can right click here and select face and draw a marquee like this. So if you draw your marquee and then hold on alt you can move move it to somewhere else and select. Drag is basically you draw your selection like this. You can hold on shift and add your selection let's go back to marquee what camera based selection means um, if you turn it off then you marquee select here if you see the back of your mesh is, uh, is automatically selected by check this you make sure that nothing out of your site is selected like this Um, what is highlight back faces? Let's create a plane and uh, let's open our outliner and control H our cube hide our cube. So here is our plane. When you um, go to face when you hover your mouse here you see um, you, you can see a highlighted area that you can then select uh, why you see it that's because of this option hold on shift command right click select pre-selection highlights so I don't see any highlights here before any before selection I put it back to pre-select highlights so I see the highlights here so let's see on the back face I see the highlights as well if I turn it off I don't see any highlights here but I, see, I still see the highlight on the front face put it back um, what a uh, highlight nearest component does is let's go closer and let's put it to um, change it to the edge so I can select a face um, the edge uh, when my mouse is exactly on top of it if I check it uh, by just going a little bit right left up or down I can select I can highlight and select a face put it back uncheck actually let's uh, put our cube um, back by shift H and we can get rid of our plane delete let's talk about uh, symmetrical symmetry uh, setting here we I'm going to go to the face mode and put the symmetry to object X so as you can see I can uh, select this and immediately the corresponding face is selected just to mention uh, when you are on a marquee select if you hold on tab it automatically switch to drag just check here I hold on tab it switch to drag so while I'm on a marquee I hold on tab and draw this so basically as you can see because I have a symmetry 
z to object x, the corresponding faces uh, are selected. Put it back to off. Let's talk about uh, paint selection. Paint selection tool. It is very much like the uh, drag selection. The only one, one of the differences is you can change the radio, the radius of of the of your brush. So basically, you can select like this. Another difference is when it's on select, uh, the the select here paint operation select uh, you don't need to hold on shift to add to your selection and you can choose on select to end start drawing and on select some areas and by toggle when you um, you basically you add and uh, you remove um, it, it toggles so um, what is Add to current selection. If I uncheck this, then I need to hold down shift anytime I want to uh, add something, unless it will unselect the previous selection and uh, create a new one. And when you, for example, have something like this, by toggle all, you will reverse your selection. You can unselect all or select all here as well. <coughs> so let's um, let's actually um, go back here and hold on tab and make a selection like this. And um, I'm going to save this selection. I go to the create menu set quick set quick select set and i will name it um for first selection okay going back to the object mode and when you want to call it you should go to the select and to the um quick select set you see your selection here you can access the quick uh, select sets if you open the window relationship editor choose the sets you have your first selection here as well as on your outliner first selection so basically you can if you don't need it you can delete it from outliner like this